How's it going? So today I got this YFC 450. It won't start. I gave it a little shot of uh, starting fluid on the air filter and it fired up so that means it's not getting fuel. Pulled the uh, fuel line off the carburetor here, turned the fuel on. That's flowing just fine so I'm going to need to pull the carburetor off to check it out. Uh, probably just gummed up, got to clean it real quick, throw it back together and it should work. So what I've done so far is taken the fuel line off, loosened up the clamp to the uh, air box. And over here on this side, I loosened up this clamp on the cylinder. I'm going to pull the whole boot with it. And up here, I pulled, so this is two four millimeter Allen heads, and then this just pops off. Now, I need to remove the throttle cable. So I'll hold it wide open, and I'll get a hold of that cable, kind of pull it out, and then I'll release it, and that'll let me bring that around and pull it out so the carb will come off, and the throttle cable will stay with the machine. Small pair of angled pliers. Got to be in the way to do this. All right. Now the throttle cable's out. And I just need to loosen this up. The 10 millimeter wrench. So I'm just going to loosen the throttle cable right here. It's going to back off on a nut that's down right there. And it just slides in. So now it's slid out. Almost missed it. We're going to have one more thing. I got to disconnect this uh, TPS sensor. These things fit really tight. A lot of times what I'll do just to make this a heck of a lot easier is pull the air box. So that's four 10 millimeter bolts. I'll pop this oil breather line and just get it out of my way. two lines going down to this. I only saw the one, so I'll pop this one too. All right, I'll go pull the bowl off of this and see what's going on. So now I want to get these screws off without stripping them, so I'm going to use an impact where I can. Looks like that one might be a struggle. But then I've got this other trick up my sleeve. Impact to Walt for these. All right, let's see the carnage. Yeah, a little dirty. We're going to pull the pilot jet out, and the main jet out, take a look at them, and make sure that this thing's actually taking fuel on. Break the main loose with a 6 mil. Just look at it up to the light. That thing's good. Unscrew the pilot with a small flathead screwdriver. Flip the car over to get it out. And same thing, we're gonna look up at the light that's plugged on this. And also there's some side holes. Take a look at those, see how they look. They look partially blocked. Sometimes it's just gas in there. So you wanna blow it out. So these bottom ones cleared, but the main, I can see a tiny bit of light, but it ain't the right amount. It's just a tiny, tiny bit. So I'll just take my air compressor here and blow right through it. Both ways. Throw it on the floor once. I can see light through it much better. But just for good measure, I'm gonna hit it with some carbon choke cleaner. Blow it out once more. And then I'll reinstall it. And the last thing I'm gonna do before I put it together is make sure that this is actually allowing fuel down into the bowl. Nothing really leaked out. It is wet in there though. So, it may have leaked when I was getting it out of the machine. But, anyhow, you Ford guys should be used to this. Just put your lips on this and blow and see if anything comes through and it stops when you push the floats up. So that is plugged up actually. We need to pull this pin. Pull the floats up. And that needle is stuck right in there, so I'm actually going to just kind of finagle that out of there. And that's why we're not taking fuel on, so got to get that out. Came out kind of hard, there's a little bit of tarnish right there. Clean that off, carbon choke.
I'll blow through these. Drop this needle back in, make sure it moves freely, which it does. We'll put the needle back on the floats. Set that down in the needle seat. Put our pin back in. Now we can flip it over and visually see if that needle drops, which it did. And again, test it like your Ford guy. Nice and easy. The only thing left is clean the bowl up a little bit and put that back on. It's a little crap down in the bottom of it, so I'm gonna get in there with a little tiny brush, clean that real quick. All right, I cleaned the bowl out, so I'm just gonna put that back on now. I'm just gonna seat these with the impact because it's better for them. All right, so now I'll just slide this back in and reverse the process of taking it apart. Now I'll get the throttle cable back up. I just held it with a screwdriver, brought it around, and held it in the hole that doesn't have cable in it. Retighten that bolt back down with my 10 mil. Reinstall the cover without the bolts first, get it into place, then pop the bolts in. Now we'll retighten the airbox clamp. Reconnect the electrical lines that we disconnected from the carb. Reconnect our oil breather. Also gonna reroute this that was just hanging out over the chain, this drain. Realized, forgot to put that holder back on the bottom of the carb. Decide that it's not that important. And finally the fuel line. Turn the gas on. Give it three and a half seconds to get down there. See if she runs.